Well, uh, we're doing question 1.1. .1. The question says solve for x. And then uh, question 1.1.1 .1 is uh, 4x squared minus 25 equal to 0. So we're looking for x here, or the value of, of x. So we do this question. Um, there are many ways to solve quadratic equations. Uh, but I would prefer to, to, to do uh, sim the simplest way, and then I can do different ways as many as possible, okay? Let's see. Uh, so because the question is like 4x squared minus 25 equal to zero, we need to find x. What I can do, uh, we can just move the 25 over. That would be like 4x squared equal to uh, 25. Now we can divide uh, both sides of the equation by four. Uh, can divide here by four. So to get rid of uh, the coefficients here, this four. So I divide by four over here. I must also divide by four there. And then I have left with x squared equal to 25 over four. Now, if I need the value of x, what I can do is uh, to square root both sides. Um, okay, because uh, the square root cancels the power of two. Then the, the square root cancels the power of two. And then I left with x over here. Now we need to be careful. At the moment, that's when, when, we, when we have an equation, the time that you put the square root, the solution on the, the constant on the right hand side, the constant must be plus, always plus or minus, okay? This is like plus or minus root 25 over root four, okay? And then this is plus or minus root 25 is five, and then root four is two. So this is the solution. All right, sometimes we can also solve the same problem uh, by using, uh, we can look, there are many ways, as I say, to, to solve a quadratic equation. Uh, because we had like 4x squared minus 25 equal to zero, we can notice that each term of this uh, equation is a square number, okay? We have 4x squared, so it is a square of, uh, of um, I'm gonna write it like this. 4x squared is the square of 2x. It's like 2x to the power of 2. That makes 4x. And then uh, uh, 25 is also square of 5. So we have this. Remember this uh, property of the difference between the squares. That says if you have like a squared, um, when we have like a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a minus b times a plus b. Okay? So we're going to apply the difference between the squares. Uh, to solve uh, this equation. So this can be like 2x minus five times 2x plus five equal to zero. Now there's another property that says uh, when we have like a times b equal to zero, this implies that a equal to zero or b equal to zero. This is a multiplication property, okay? Now we will set 2x minus five equal to zero and I mean, or we say 2x plus 5 equal to 0. And then here, if we solve for x, move the 5 over, that makes 2x is equal to 5. That makes x is equal to 5 over 2. Or same also here, if we move the positive 5 over, that makes negative 5. And then we divide by 2, both sides, that makes x is equal to negative 5 over 2. This way is uh, is also a way of solving. We can also use the quadratic formula, okay? We can also use the quadratic formula. We do know that the quadratic formula is given by uh, x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus four ac, okay? All over two a. And the quadratic equation itself is x squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. That's the quadratic equation. Now, uh, let's say, this is the quadratic formula. And this one is the quadratic equation. Now, <clears throat> Uh, because we, we have four x squared minus 25 equal to zero, we can complete 
because the quadratic equation has, has a maximum of three terms, but because we only have two terms, we can complete the other terms by saying like four x squared plus zero x when it's 25. So we have like all the three terms. Now we can identify each way, each uh, constant. This is uh, the coefficient of x squared, of x squared, a, which a is four, and at b, which is uh, zero, and then c is 25. Then we can just sum in this in the quadratic equation. It will be minus b plus minus square root of uh, b squared minus four a c all over to a. Now sum in the values of b, p zero, p zero, um, four a c a is four, and then c is negative twenty five. A is four. Now what we have over here, let me x is equal to zero, because minus zero is just zero plus minus roots of that makes um, zero square root is coming to zero, and then four times four times twenty five times negative twenty five. The negative and negative will make positive, and then this makes four hundred. Okay, all over eight, and square root of four hundred is is, is 20, so that makes 20 over eight. And then this can be simplified. Okay, 20, but we get divided by four by four, we get uh, five over two, uh, plus or minus here, yeah? sorry. Um, let's just do this on the flowing line. So we have X equal to plus or minus uh, five over two. Over, over over two. So because we divide over here, we, we simplify over here, we divide by four. Divide by four, divide by four. We divide by the low, the, the, the highest common factor of the numerator and the denominator. So uh, these are like uh, three different ways to solve uh, uh, this uh, question. Thank you.